So the word gnomon means, well, it can mean a lot of things, um, but it, at its core, it's the fixed reference point. It's like the, the beam in the middle of a sundial here. But in Nick Harkaway's book called Nomon, it's the randomly generated codename for an investigation that's assigned to an agent of the system. Now, a person died in the system's custody, and the investigator must determine if a crime has actually taken place. The, this system of surveillance and participatory democracy that, uh, that makes uh, this future Britain work, it should make investigating a crime like this really, really simple, especially since the system can get right into the head of anybody who's in custody. But this death in custody happened while the victim was being interrogated using just those getting inside your brain kind of methods. So now the investigator has to start sifting through the victim's recorded memories and the fixed reference points start shifting. So this story is um, yeah, this story is about the investigator and about how she has to unravel the obfuscating identities the victim has created in her own mind. So there's the story of an alchemist, and there's a Greek financial trader, and an elderly Ethiopian man who's uh, an elderly Ethiopian artist who's learning how to use computers from his granddaughter. And through it all, there lurks this predator. So it's an amazing book about surveillance, how data helps people make decisions, and how it can all go wrong. And it's a beautifully twisty mystery that rewards a reader who pays attention to details, but also doesn't punish them about missing a few things. So yeah, Nomon by Nick Harkaway is an excellent science fiction mystery that feels right at home as we lurch towards dystopia.